According to federal officials at a Friday afternoon news conference, a fingerprint and traces of DNA led the FBI to Cesar Altieri Sayoc Jr., the suspect in the bizarre bomb plot against opponents of President Trump. Each device consisted of roughly six inches of PVC pipe, a small clock, a battery, some wiring, and what is known as energetic material. He was charged with five federal crimes, including mailing an incendiary device and threatening a former president. According to Attorney General Jeff Sessions, he faces up to 58 years in prison. 56-year-old Sayak of Aventura, Florida, is a registered Republican with a long criminal record. Sayak has been arrested at least 10 times, according to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, once in 2002 for making a bomb threat, and most recently in 2015 for a probation violation. He was taken into custody Friday morning at an AutoZone implantation two weeks before the midterm elections. A Twitter account in the name of Cesar Altieri consists of pro-Republican, anti-Democrat memes. The Associated Press said Sayoc will be prosecuted in federal court in New York City following an initial court appearance in Florida. Five of the 13 improvised devices involved in the case were recovered in the Southern District of New York. FBI agents and other law enforcement officers in the parking lot of an AutoZone auto parts examined Sayoc's white van, covered with pro-Trump and pro-Republican stickers. They covered the van with a blue tarp, loaded it onto a truck, and drove it away. President Trump said the suspect will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. These terrorizing acts are despicable and have no place in our country. According to the FBI, investigators scrambled from coast to coast to locate the culprit and motives behind the bizarre plot. The latest bombs discovered were addressed to New Jersey Senator Cory Booker and former National Intelligence Director James Clapper, both similar in appearance to pipe bomb devices sent to other prominent Democrats. The discoveries brought to 13 the total number of devices addressed in recent days to Democratic figures including former President Barack Obama, former Vice President Joe Biden, and Hillary Clinton. Investigators were analyzing the innards of the crude devices to reveal whether they were intended to detonate or simply sow fear just before Election Day. Former CIA Director John Brennan, the target of a package sent to CNN, fired back. Stop blaming others. Look in the mirror. Your inflammatory rhetoric, insults, lies, and encouragement of physical violence are disgraceful. Clean up your act. Try to act presidential. The explosive devices were packed in envelopes with bubble wrap interiors bearing six American flag stamps and the return address of Schultz, the former chairwoman of the Democratic National Committee. Like earlier targets, both Biden and De Niro have been sharply critical of Trump. The actor dropped an expletive insult at Trump at this year's Tony Awards and also apologized to Canadians for the idiotic behavior of my president. Biden said last week that the president may not know what he's doing and coddles dictators. 